Deposits of marine clay in Norway cover a total area of 40,000 square kilometres. Within this area, quick clay slides represent a serious problem, involving potential loss of lives and property. This documentary film presents the story of such a landslide. It contains unique pictures taken by two amateur photographers who happen to be at the scene. During the last glaciation, the northern hemisphere was more or less entirely covered by glaciers. In Scandinavia, the weight of an approximately 3,000 metre thick ice cap loaded the bedrock. During deglaciation, the sea transgressed in front of the retreating ice. About 11,000 years ago, the coasts of Norway were submitted to conditions similar to those in Spitsbergen and Greenland today. Melting water from the glaciers brought large amounts of suspended material into the fjords, where silt and clay were sedimented in the marine environment. Due to isostatic land uplift following the withdrawal of the glaciers, marine clay deposits rose above the water level. Such marine areas are shown with light green colour on the map and can today be found up to surface elevations of 200 metres above present sea level. In Norway and Sweden, such areas constitute the best farming land and are among the most heavily populated areas. The bedrock surface is very undulated with outcropping hills and valleys filled to some extent with marine sediments. Rain and surface water subject the marine clay surface to erosion. With time, the top five metres have altered to a weathered crust of stiff fissured clay. At the same time, an upward flow of fresh groundwater from fissures in bedrock and through sand layers gradually leaches the salt out of the poor water of the marine sediments. In its natural undisturbed state, quick clay exhibits considerable strength. However, if the load becomes too heavy, as shown in this example, a failure takes place as the clay particle structure collapses followed by remoulding of the clay. The most characteristic feature of a quick clay is the complete and drastic change of consistency by remoulding. Such extreme quick clay behaviour is encountered only when the salt concentration in the poor water drops below one gram per litre. To illustrate the important role of salt on the material properties, we can add a little ordinary table salt to the clay sample. When the salt goes back into the pore water, the salt ions alter the interaction between the minerals and the pore water. The remolded strength increases dramatically and the clay is no longer a liquid.